Oh, he's open. And he hits the throw. Brita is racing. He's a racist. Oh, that's... No, he's, he's not... The, Yikes. What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today in our 49ers franchise, and it's a special day. We have a chance to make the Seahawks cry. But more importantly, this is the final regular season video, well, video game of the series, which is definitely quite saddening, but also quite saddening. <laughs> I don't know. Like... I, I don't know how how am I supposed to ask for a like and sub? You know, like this is a sad time for us, but I'm going to. So please like and sub. <laughs> we have a couple of upgrades here. Uh, Roberts with an upgrade to get him to I believe an 80 overall. Yeah, yeah, right. 80, yeah, 80, yeah, 80 overall. And then we have QT with one. We have our right guard with one. We have a right tackle with one. Defensively, we have our middle, our outside. Got a couple of upgrades today. I'll put it that way. Did we get a player of the week? I, I think we did. Did we? I don't remember. Weekly awards. We did. I mean, we only had seven touchdowns last week. I mean, who else would have beat us there? Rest or start. Uh, what's the question? Who is it? Kit oh. <laughs> um, what do you think about benching him this week? Sure, man. Mice morale boost. Stamina boost as well. However, more downs will increase his morale. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. The fewer downs Kittle plays this week, the more stamina he'll have for the playoffs. However, more downs played will increase his morale. You can adjust. I don't freaking know. More downs is a morale. I take I'll take the morale over the stamina. Cause he needs to play better. So yeah. Um let's just disregard. Like it's Russell Wilson. I would love to slow him down, but I'm also not in the business of lying to myself. Ooh, it's actually a big uh, day. Second ability Quan coming up. We're gonna go field general just so he guarantees himself an upgrade. This is kind of a big one. I like it. Andy gets an acceleration. What's his ability? Wow. That's the worst set of abilities you can possibly get on a linebacker. Thank you, game. Very cool. Uh, 86 overall Kiki QT. That doesn't look good. And I'm assuming that wasn't. Lamb does not really get much of an upgrade. He's a decent player, though. Obviously, the morale is making it look a lot better as well. Oh, Walner's only an 83 overall. Plus, dude, run block is nice, though. Hey, he's still good. Upgraded Josh Jones' run-stopping ability wasn't a great upgrade, and it takes him ages to upgrade anyways. 7,000 XP. He's an 80 overall now. Improviser gives him a throw short, deep on the run. Really? No medium? Damn, son. Am I blind by that? I, I'm just curious. Current alternate, current color rush. It just changes the shoes. His game has to be at night, right? Oh, okay. I guess to be fair, maybe they, they flexed it out. Because it doesn't mean any... I think they're locked in at 5. I think we have a chance to lose number 1 seed to number 2, but I'm not sure. I We're going to play like it. I mean, we'll probably... I mean, whether we're up by a lot or not, we'll probably start benching people in the second quarter. Specifically, guys like Brita. Maybe Kittle. Kittle's had a, you know some injury issues as well, and he hasn't played that well lately anyway, so... Rather risk him in, an, in a meaningful game. Defensively, I can't really think of anyone. Maybe White... Bose, I mean, Bose is tough. Why does Kittle's eyes look like he's on drugs? We won 13 straight. Wow. The Rams have won three straight, but I think they've... Actually, they're very close. I think they could sneak in if the Cowboys lose. They're, they're very close. And the fact that this, once, once again, wasn't a nighttime game is brutal. Ross will get a chance to return. Get... Okay. Nice little move inside. Gets to exactly the 25. Didn't look at the uh, award race, and we'll see it next week, but Roberts has a pretty good chance at winning MVP, You know, he's, especially with last week's game. I mean, before last week's game, meh. Now it's like, oh, yeah, he's he's front runner probably. Look at us getting creative. Oh, crap. <laughs> Abort. Pettis. That worked. A, wow, that worked really well. Pettis down the sideline. How many yards was that? Just about 25. Wow. Actually, a little bit more. I think it was 20, yeah, 26, 27. Not bad at all, Pettis. Not bad at Kittle. He dropped. Of course Kittle dropped. Why do we have him in? Who cares? They really look like they want to stop the run. We'll see. Oh, God. Good try. I mean, there's not much. Either. He literally, he got absolutely eaten up there. Like, he, he disappeared. He, he actually went some. I don't know where he went. Uh, we'll take a look at their team. We usually don't look at our, our opponents. Burkirvan. 
Not seeing anything crazy new. No one crazy. Oh, that DB. The, the corners, though. Not bad. All right, we hit a bit of a wall here. Until Bobby Wagner picks us off, then it won't be all right. Pettis to the outside gets the look. I thought he slipped. You ever see that move where the ball just comes out? It's like, yeah, I slipped the tackle, but I lost the ball. Inside zone. They are all over the ground game. I'm half tempted to, like, quick throw this outside to Brita. That actually worked pretty well. Inside, down to the six, seven. Heel to the outside, might just take a shot. Back of the end zone. Oh, that's picked. Yeah, why didn't that get up there? Good job, line. Oh, maybe not. Good job, Roberts. Why didn't that ball get up there? I thought we had him back in the end zone. It just kind of laid low. Well, it's unfortunate. I knew with how long the play was taken that we were going to make a stupid decision too. And there goes Pierce. Should have went for the hit sick. We would have absolutely obliterated him. Lost two, though, so hey, I don't know. Come with the blitz. That's the one thing when we play the Seahawks. For whatever reason, they like to run the ball all day. I get they like to run the ball, right? Nice little move. Carson basically nothing. He might have lost two again. I think he did. They just lost four yards in a row. All right. Let's see what Fred can do. To the outside, really good D last second by Derwin. That was really weird. Well, we threw a pick, they threw a, a, a punt. Looking for the out routes. There you go, Pettis. And we can start to believe in Robert's throwing abilities now. Ironically, I say that because before that play, it was a, a pick. Wasn't his fault though, it was, it was a good throw. It just undersold where we needed to put it. Oh, he's open. And he hits the throw, Brita is racing. He's a race. That's no. He's he's not. Yikes! I'm pretty dependable now, but you know he's still not to that point. And Burita he used a lot of energy on the last play. If he was full Burita, that would have been gone. City. There we go. I was wondering if they were gonna put Henry in for this, and they did. I like it. Right blockers don't disappoint. They kind of did. Henry with a gain of about nine. I don't know if they're going to adjust. Halfback toss to the other side. Ooh. If we don't block this, the, the only way we shouldn't have this red is if Wagner makes a play. There you go. Damn it, Henry. Come on. This is why we don't use you anymore. I'm sorry. Change it to a stretch to the left. I mean, once again, we have the look. Like, we are... I mean, they should have adjusted better by now. Although, whoever that guy is. Who is that, Bilal? Some Walters, dude. Holy crap. They made a play. Chark on the inside. Might have himself a touchdown this season. He does. Nice throw, Roberts. Okay, Roberts. I think Roberts with that last set of upgrades, he might be he might be goaded. Chark with a nice touchdown. We probably should have looked at Milestone, see if we had any with like the receivers, but meh. Who cares? Oh my god, Buckner. Please, please. You're six foot seven, three hundred pounds. You do not need to be ending people's lives. Like, they're like, wow. Well, to start the game off already, we have a seven point lead. That's not too impressive. We have uh, like 10,000% of their yards. I don't even think that's a number. Is it a thousand percent? I don't know. Metcalf is going to lose yards and he's still going. He's not down yet. That is the toughest one yard gained literally in history. That's one tackle, two tackles, three, four, five ish. Whatever you're willing to do for that yard. All I'm saying is a yard's a yard, and there goes Pierce with another tackle for a loss. I like Carson's uh, effort, but his success levels are at a very low rate right now. There you go, Fred, after the miss by Quan, he gains a yard, I think. That's the problem. The run game in this game is just so bad for the AI. Like, we have their run blocking sliders at 90. Like, how high do we need to go? Wide open is Carson. Russell Wilson's just not interested in it. Oh, good find. Good find, Russell. It is very rare that we get to see one of these little sequences where... Uh, oh, it's a Pettis sequence. That's why I was about to say. I was like, we rarely see it good for Roberts. Usually it's him on the ground crying because he's injured. He's not been injured once, but he should be. And he will be by the end of today. Oh, I didn't think we were going to get through there. Would have been one-on-one -on -one with Tart, our old player. And by old, I mean literally old. He's, he's up there. All right, Kittle. They wanted us to bench you. Not for the same reasons I want to bench you, but still. Oh, my God. Does he hold on to that? Wow, Pettis is good. Yeah, okay, Roberts. <laughs> I get it. I don't like Kittle as much as you nowadays, but jeez, let's give him a chance. Petrowski could bring Kittle to a wide-open situation. He will not. 
Inside, Pettis has been killing it, though. Huge hit, though. Doesn't matter because it's a first down. Yikes, throw. Yikes. Did I actually throw a, throw a low pass? Maybe I did. Inside, Petrowski, your favorite player who has not received the ball yet today. Good throw. Holds on to that, man. Our guys are good. I keep forgetting how good we are. All right, Robert, it's been a very long time since we went with a QB draw. Okay, maybe that's why. <laughs> maybe there's a reason for it. I wanted to run a read option. They're not going to allow it. But we're going to audible to a straight-up run, which looks very promising. How are they so good? X under, so Pettis on the inside looks good. QT could find it behind Burr. That's uh, quite interesting there, QT. That was, I don't care what it says. There was a weird throw, right? But it wasn't inaccurate. It was it was where it needed to go. Quick throw like that is not easy to make. Great read. Just a straight up drop from QT. I don't know what the hell happened there. We have movement from the 37. <laughs> when you're constipated. Uh, from the 37 yard line. Buck. Oh, God. Buck. Yeah, that's. That was a hit stick. Eight rushes for 12 yards. Yeah, Carson, you uh, maybe, maybe try wide receiver out. I don't know. Maybe there's something for your fullback. Just stealing their money at this point. I mean, look at the coverage we're getting. Look at the coverage we're getting in a freaking run support d defense. This is ridiculous. Like, if we rocked our Flyers roster on, this, on these sliders, we'd lose, like, freaking 100 to 0. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Derwin got destroyed. <laughs> I take everything back. Yeah, I mean, I, w I don't because we would get destroyed. I mean, Derwin just got destroyed, but wow. Kittle had a jump very high. <laughs> that was a very inaccurate ball. I'm not sure why he went with a possession. We're just going to go inside zone proper. Oh, my God. How is he not dead? This is why we're going to be benching him soon. That is not what I signed up for. What the hell was that? Also, how am I so... Like, he went ineligible instantaneously. I mean, I get we're good, right? But, like, that is not a good decision. I would take the, the down loss. Five yards. I mean, that's why you take... Well, I guess to be fair. No, that's why you take the down loss. Because we just got that huge gainer, which we definitely wouldn't have had. Because, obviously, we just simply would not have run it there. Breed in the zone. We do not see this often. Why don't we see it more often, actually? And why didn't we see a broken tackle there? First one free my ass. Just so you guys know, we have the run blocking on like 26. I don't know if just sliders just aren't responsive, which I definitely don't think they are half the time. But like, yeah, that's all I can tell you. Look at Petrowski just outrunning people. Oh, wow, well, that was cool. Inside zone for Henry. Never get a chance with this. There you go, big boy. Throw a man down. Seven yards gained. Over that, yeah, let's just go with the pass. Come on, pal. It's not that hard. We will kick the field goal, though. Seahawks are in a decent game, though. We got the ball first, and we're only up by six. They have two possessions back-to-back -back here, basically. So as long as they don't turn the ball over in the first one, they're in a good spot. I'm gonna run. Like, why are they running the ball? Like, Do they know who we are? Your best chance is to run double moves on us. Even that might not be enough. No, good, good run by Carson. Got about seven, which is like half of his total yards on almost ten carries. Outside, I mean, that's just very poor. That's that's very poor. It's a three-yard game when nobody's near him. And they look like they're running. Who knows, but I, I know. Oh, inside, wide open, huge hit by Josh Jones. But still, it's a first down. Russell's playing pretty well. Well, <laughs> I literally thought of it in my head, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Russell with a great tackle. I literally thought of it in my head. How many how many times does that happen? We put pretty good. <laughs> Robert, this, this is how we get to that 50% mark. And then he hits that throw. And, and then he hits that throw. He's got a guy literally smooching him. 1,000 yards for QT? Not bad. Run, Roberts. Oh, he's got it. He's... Woo! Hey! I don't want to talk about it. I'm just not going to bring it up. I'm not going to bring it up. I'm not bringing up a penalty. There's just no point to. 
Underneath is open. About as... Oh, my God. Derwin is not having a day. Oh, it's brutal. Now they will. I think they were going to. So maybe we should have called a timeout. <laughs> will it matter, though? Okay, maybe it will matter because we should have went for the tackle and we didn't. Come with the blitz. Man blitz. Over the middle is open. Don't let him. Wow. They just got bailed out so hard. I mean, if I'm them, honestly, I risk it. It's a, You got three seconds anyways. I would just... Streaks on the insides. But hey, they're only down 10 after a disastrous decision by Wilson. And once again, they do get the ball at half, so here they are. I mean, we said it. If they didn't turn over the ball, they would have had two shots with six-point deficit to, you know, change that a little bit. But no, they threw a pick, gave us time, and they got lucky with some penalties there. That was ridiculous. Terrible management near the end there. But they got bailed out. Shocker. Good find. Oh, God, Metcalf is a lot... He's, like, more agile than he's supposed to be. We're just going to blitz him. Josh? Oh, God. Like, what is Josh Jackson doing there? I, I went with the blitz, and he, he kind of sat mid. If they just completely abandoned the ground game, they'd be in a decent position. Well, I guess, I mean, decent game there. About eight yards, nine yards. Can we go with a man blitz? Uh-oh. Underneath finds his man first down. By the way, why is uh, we have this weird like setup right now where Buckner's on the opposite side of where he normally plays? Juan gives up the first down just about. Nope, not just about. Quite literally the first down. Man blitz, shade the inside. Really test these DBs. Or not. <laughs> wow, Pierce just got destroyed by a tight end. And not even a very good one either. I mean, hey, there's a very realistic chance we lose this game considering, you know, we're looking to most likely bench a few of these guys by the end of this drive. Good throw. Good throw indeed. Gains about six to the fullback. So we got a couple of decent looks. Ah, uh, why didn't we take the freaking streak? Uh-oh. Ooh. How is that not a fumble? Oh, I gotta hit that throw. It sucks because Bree was actually even more open, but yeah, I probably would have missed that throw anyways. Got me thinking. Trowski with a great catch. Now, these receivers are very dependable, except for Kittle, who ironically probably is the best catching out of all of them, so I don't know what the hell his story is. Just run, Robbie. Gee, who is that guy? He's so fast. All right, we're going to need some extra blocks here, which we do have. Oh, God. How many did they bring? They brought six. We, they brought six. We blocked seven. Come on, guys. Yeah, I'm no expert on math. However, I do know we should have had that blocked. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Breed on third and 16. Gets the set. Runs it for the first. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, you get yourself a Matthew Breed. I can't trust it. I trust that, though. You thief. Works, though, all the way down to the one. <laughs> he stopped. I mean, if, he, if I would have known he was going to stop there, I would have actually thrown to him anyways. Big boy Henry. The stiff arm could work here, so we're going to go for it. Oh, it doesn't need to. Stiff arm anyway. Oh, damn. He was way further out than I thought. Good play. I think we're going to bench our uh, some of our starters on offense. Rita being one of them, probably. Eh, maybe. I don't know. Rita looks comfortable. What a throw! And an even better pick by White. Wow. That is the best pick of the season for him. And that's very badly. Th yeah, we're going to bench him as well. I don't want to ruin the numbers. I just don't. We subbed out a few of our guys. Well, we will after this play. Not too many on defense, but a guy like Fred. Let us... What the hell just happened? I guess, I guess no one subbed out. Forget I said anything. Job white. Ah, there we go. Hendrickson's in now. Don't even remember ever going for him, but apparently we did. Somebody get in there. It's crazy how much, like, not having Buckner there is. Like, <laughs> he would have gotten eaten up there. When it says 7.0 yards after contact, that means 7.0, like, 7 yards, right? Not 7 yards per. Like, he usually goes down instantly. 
Well, Buckner's back. Oh, didn't last very long. Fred's not supposed to be in. Here he is. Who cares? Who, just do what you want, honestly. Start of the fourth. I don't know why they're wasting clock. I don't care who we bring out of the game. I'm not wasting any clock against us unless I have, like, a 20-point lead. Good tackle by White. That's not White. That's Derwin. All right, Buckner. Show him why you should be out of the game. Never mind. That's also not, like, a good thing to say. Fred just got crumpleized. To the outside, there's nobody in sight. Oh, vicious tackle by F D Ford. Is it Gary Johnson? I don't even know if we have him. Oh, my. Oh, my, indeed. Good tackle off the edge by Josh Jones. He's like, guys, there was six of you. What, what happened? Wow, really good defense by everyone there, honestly, but just an amazing catch. I get we have our backups in, but would you really trust your defense that much to not go for the onside I guess I guess or not Breed has gone oh my god he's he's playoff ready he's playoff ready he uh definitely is gonna hold on to that rushing title this season wow all right 42 yard line four minutes left third and 11 Derwin, oh, Derwin's got to kill him there. I don't know if they have the field goal range, do they? They're going to go for it. They hit it, they got a chance. If they don't, GG. And, yeah, Rita went off today. <laughs> he went straight off. And he's still not done. Where's my cut move there? 12 for 155. I mean, overall, they did do pretty well on the ground. They just gave up a few really big plays. Reed is crushing him, man. I'm going to take it anyways. Oh, it's freaking Tannehill. I forgot. <laughs> Still good run over there. I forgot it's Tannehill. Brita. I don't know if we're going to have the blocks here. This can, could be a foot race. Which obviously you like your chances with Brita. Brita going for the end zone. Dives and gets it. Brita has had a monster of a game. 20 touchdowns rushing on the season. Like 200 in this game. Wow, what a way to finish the season. What a game. Everyone comes out healthy. We don't even... I mean, we did play in pretty much the whole game, but we, we benched mo a decent bit of starters in the fourth, and uh, we came out healthy. So I'm I'm happy with that. 14 wins on the season. Can't get... You know, can't ask for much better than that. And overall, just an impressive way to finish the season. Finishing the year with 14 wins. Probably should have went 16-0 again because... This team is god tier. Like, it is so good. 500 plus total yards. Average just under 10 yards per carry. That is the most balanced game you could ask for. Roberts was really good in the first quarter. Fell apart quite a bit afterwards, though. But overall, I think we have the we have the roster to get the job done. Russell Wilson uh, played better than Roberts. Roberts, of course, two picks, one touchdown. That uh, com completion percentage dropped quite a bit. Brita, though, 15 for 204, two touchdowns. We had four rushing touchdowns, so fair enough. You know, the touchdowns to pick ratio wasn't great, but it would have looked just as good, if not better, than Russell if we, you know, didn't run the ball in for a score like they did. Uh, plus, Russell did fumble as well. Uh, receiving yards, who had Dante Pettis had a good... He really didn't feel like he played that much either. He just had a couple of big plays. Defensively now, sack totals. Echo Buckner had one each. Polk with one off the edge. I remember it because I was like, we blocked seven. They had six. We should have at least done better. Two picks for each team. Those two corners are so good. They missed a kick that would have at least made it close, but Brita decided to take that away from him anyways. And I'm actually really excited to see not only the awards, but I want to see these stats. But obviously we're going to wait till next week because it does take us like 10 to 15 minutes just to go through in depth. Especially since it's the final season. We're going to see you know, some of the other league players as well. Zone coverage, Dane, I don't really care. I, I really do. I mean, unless it's like plus 10 to speed or hit power, I really don't care. Even plus 10 to hit power wouldn't matter. That's crazy. He's very fast, though. 94. Okay, maybe. Hold on. Rest our start. Let's get our scenarios here. What is it? I probably wouldn't have played Kittle so much. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? What's his morale? Plus 10. I mean, I'll take a plus 10 morale. A QB, X Factor. I hate playing them. He's too good. Just glad we got the win. Linebackers with an upgrade. 
What is, uh, is Kittle like bumped to the max here? What's the story? So he's in the 95 overall. He has plus two to morale. Could get an upgrade by the end of the playoffs. I don't know. I'm not sure. 94 catching, uh, 86 catching traffic. He's not even that great, which is insane. He's very good at blocking, though. Um, like, he's he's got, like, 82 short, medium, 74 deep. Like, tight ends just aren't easy to dev. Like, that's just... He's, like, the best in the league. He probably is, even by overall. Yet, he's the third ranked. Who the hell is better than him? Third ranked. I guess Travis Kelsey's probably still going. I'm actually really curious now. He is only 93 overall, after all. Travis Kelsey and Ertz, fair enough. Yeah, they've got some route running. <laughs> Woof. Dog. But that's pretty much the video. If you guys want to see the uh, stats and awards, that'll be next episode, which I I have no idea when that will be. But next video will be stats and awards. And then the playoffs. Things are getting wild. I don't know why I yelled at you. I apologize. If you like the video, maybe leave a like. If you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Kerr. And that's literally quite it. Hopefully you come back for next video, but until next video, see